Okay, Shalom. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bushim Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Rakakadash, double honors to our apostles, a great millstone, elders GMS, salutation to the hopeful elect, the faith based Israelites, Israelite foreigners, and so on, that believe it in the truth of Yahweh, Bushim Yahweh Shai, in spirit and in truth, you know, and let's continue to do his work until the end, continue to build faith. Oh, okay. Okay, the video is on. Let's examine the word pure. Just examining the word pure, you know, what he means here by um, Matthew 5 and 8. But let me read 7. Matthew 5 and 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. For they shall see the Most High. Examining that, for they shall see the Most High. Seem how? How does he say, uh, he said all the time, he that have ears to hear, eyes to see, you know, meaning he that have under, that, that has a mind to understand that can receive this truth. We're pretty much the most high has to open your mind up to receive this truth in the first place, you know, for they shall see, see what? See the truth of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai. But anyway, going into this word, Blessed are the pure in heart. So you got a lot of wackos and wacky and corny and a lot of these creeps, man, that's claiming to believe in Jesus Christ, man. Okay, let's just say they believe in Jesus Christ, okay? Okay, you know, they don't realize how the Heavenly Father is looking at them like, okay, 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 let's go with it. Let me, okay, let's let, let, them, let them roll for now. You know, let them believe in that. Let them continue to call on that name Jesus Christ. The Most High is giving them time to receive this truth, man. Because this truth has been pushed, you know. So by the time our Lord cracked them skies and you still calling that Jesus Christ, man, you're going to get yourself burnt the hell up, you know, literally. So let's just say that people may be sincere, you know, may be sincere calling on that Jesus Christ, still accepting that uh, blonde hair, blue eyed devil image. But that time's going to come where the Most High is going to look at you like, I gave you enough time, fools. <laughs> you know, to receive the truth. You know, so again, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. You know, meaning they're going to receive the truth. You know, all the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So set you free. <laughs> so, examining this word, blessed are the pure in heart. Going to that word pure. I know it explains it better in Peter's though. The meaning is different in Peter's, but let's just go here. Um, clean, pure, physically purified by fire. What is that? Kath Strong's G, 2513, Katharas. 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 Purified by fire, and that's that fire we're going through right now. You know, been cleansed of all this worldly mess, man. You know, literally being cleansed of this worldly mess that we were in, you know, indulging in before we received the truth. So purified by fire. That fire is the, um, um, the, the trials and tribulations. The trials and tribulations, you know, that's mentally and physically. Okay, and a similar to like a vine cleansed by pruning and so fitted to bear fruit. In a Levitical sense, clean, the use of which is not forbidden, imparts no uncleanness. You know, falsehoods, falsehoods. And mainly you can begin with that name, you know, the name. Because the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. That's why you hear us say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, the name of the Lord, Savior. Okay, ethically free from corrupt desire from sin and guilt you see blessed are the pure in heart all right you know because one thing about this truth is you got to humble yourself man you can't continue to bring in that madness that you thought was so right because you clung on to it for so many years you know most high, you know he says you know you got to come in this truth and you got literally you got to be as a child and as a child is it's more um, eager to listen and learn instead of, you know, 
Oh, I know it all. <laughs> you know, free from every in admixture of what is false, you know, sincere and genuine. Free from every admixture of what is false. So again, humbling yourself, man, you know. And there's many as scriptures on being humble. I might as well grab a few of them. You know why I did? Where did I pull that? You know, let me just go this route. Let me pull up another blue letter here. That's why you don't see the brother in the camps, the, the GMS, just bringing in anyone and everyone, you know? You know? That's why we're not part of those unity, them, them damn uni, unity camps, man. It's literally, they don't, you know, they just, you know, just doing exactly what they want to do, you know? I'm trying to find me one of these humble scriptures here. Arise, O Lord, O power, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Okay, that's a pretty decent one, but I'm trying to find another one. Okay, let me just go with Psalms 69 and 32. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek the most high okay that's pretty good right there and when you're seeking the most high you're seeking the most high in spirit and in truth you know you're not just accepting anything that just because it sounds good you know you know because it has big words you know There's pretty much a lot of people fall victim to those big words that literally have nothing to do with you uh, uh, your salvation you've been delivered the kingdom of heaven you know, so humble here, humble here is, um, you know, it's the state of mind we're supposed to be in, you know. Strong's H, 6035. Anav. 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 Second entry. They pronounce that with that V. Anav. Anav. Okay, it says humble is poor, humble, afflicted, or meek. Poor and needy, poor and weak, poor, weak and afflicted, humble, lowly, and meek. Being humble. Okay, depressed. Okay, figuratively in mind, gentle. Circumstances needy, especially saintly, humble, lowly, meek, poor. So you got to humble yourself, man, in, in order to receive uh the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you have to humble yourself again. The humble shall see this. Shall see what? The truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know? The humble shall see this and be glad. You know? Because that's when we, that's, you know, our prayers and and the thanks, th the thanks, you know, I do, you know, and the, and the brethren do every day, constantly giving thanks to Yahweh Bashim. You know they're doing it, the brethren, the, you know? The camps, you know, of the Great Millstone, giving thanks to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that they took us up out of the world, you know. Cause so look at you know, look, look at how we look at the world now. The world is filthy, man. You know, we look at the world as a uh, as a a damn baby's diaper, a woman's um, you know, uh, pad on her period. It's just literally what the world is. The world is filthy, man, and full of vomit, man. You know. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek the most high. You know, and that's what happens when you humble down on yourself. You humble yourself into in a pure state of mind. You know, you continue to grow in Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You continue to grow in the truth. You know, it's a beautiful thing, man. You know, pure. Second Peter three and one three and one. Let me look that up. Second uh, Peter three. I'm going to close it here, though. It's just crazy.
did this thing pick up my voice, you know? Because when I put it in, it comes up right there. I didn't even type it in. I never typed it in. But it comes up 2 Peter 3 and 12. I'm looking for 3 and 1, I'm pretty sure, though. It keeps doing that. It won't come up if I... See, it keeps doing that. Here we go. What? See, see, this thing is playing games with me here. wrong here <laughs> give me a second here oh what am I doing it's Peter not I'm putting Peters <laughs> slow my roll It came to me, brothers. <laughs> second Peter 3 and 1. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both, which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. You know, that pure, there we go, that pure, our pure. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both, which I stir up your pure minds. It's going to pure here. up your pure minds what is it in the Hebrew um, pure bar bar I could be wrong because I'm not an expert in the Hebrew basic as basic as you can get in the Hebrew okay pure sincere sincere unsullied found pure when unfolded and examined by the sun's light but pure and sincere pure and sincere who's going to humble themselves only a sincere individual only a sincere individual will humble themselves you know to learn this truth but just examine the word pure man you know just looking at it you know through a, a, a student's point of view you know so you can have better understanding of these scriptures when you're teaching folks, man. You know? A nigga can't learn this truth because a nigga already knows it all. You know? A nigga can't learn this truth because a nigga is filthy and foul. You know? You know what I mean by a nigga. You know? That old bottle can't learn this truth. You know? That old bottle. You know what I mean by that old bottle can't learn this truth. You know? Because within that old bottle, that old bottle, he may hear and it, uh, and, it, and it take some in, but eventually that that wisdom and knowledge is going to drain right up out of that old bottle, you know. Because it cannot hold the, the you know you know it can't hold the the, the oil, the, it can't hold the wine, you know, <laughs> you know. And besides, those old bottles pretty much, you know, can't humble themselves, you know. Because again, they got the attitude of they know it all. You know, contentious mind, you know. <laughs> so here we are on the eve of um, the Day of Atonement, you know. And it's funny, speaking on the Day of Atonement, when it first came into the truth in the summer of um, 07, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, uh, you know, had literally had very little understanding, but it was coming, you know. And hearing about the uh, the Day of Atonement, uh, you know, I'm thinking with, like I said, you know, I didn't know the Bible. I never read the Bible. 
I scanned through the Bible the years because you hear about the UFOs, you heard about the giants and things like that, but I didn't understand the Bible at all. All right. So coming in the truth, man, I was learning, didn't know no better. So the day of atonement came, come around the first one, uh, uh, you know, fast for that 24 hours from sundown to sundown. Um, but my being ignorant, <laughs> I thought it was a thing that you do every month, you know, every month on that, on the Sabbath. And that's what I was doing. I was, and I, oh man, I, I was, I was fasting from sundown to sundown for, oh my God, I can say a little bit over a year until I actually found out the actual truth about the, uh, the, the day of atonement was only come once a year, but you know, I was sincere, you know, I humbled myself and I was sincere and it was hard. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I'm admit it was hard, you know, doing it every month, you know, fast and sundown to sundown. But nowadays, like now it's, it's you know, it's pretty much, an, it's, it goes, it's, it breezes by with no problem, you know? Yeah. As you know, there's the ultimate goal behind humbling ourselves and that sacrifice of afflicting ourselves with no water and food. You know, there's a reward that comes with our works. And like the book of Revelation says, let me get it real quick. Let me see if I can get this. I love the scripture, man. That's why we do it in the best of our, you know, in, 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 with sincerity, man, you know. You know best of our abilities it says says here in revelation uh uh, uh revelation 22 and 12 and behold it says i come quickly behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be you know <laughs> you know so this is a beautiful scripture, man. You know, but like I said, I was until I found out. You know, uh, it was like I said, it came once a month. I mean, it came once a year. You know, <laughs> uh, I got you know inside a better understanding. You know, because I, you know, I uh, what's how do I want to say this? I was uh, humbled myself. I uh, I stood stiffly. You know, continue on even though I didn't know no better. You know, but I was driven by faith. You know, to continue doing what I was doing, you know, and even my um, youngest, oldest son and oldest daughter, they did the same thing. Not the two youngest, but the two oldest did the same thing. And even to this day, they uh, they kind of talk amongst each other and their friends how hard I was. You know, I didn't I didn't know no better, man. I didn't know, you know. But like I said, you get credit for that. Most I gives you credit for that, you know. But they tell them how man how, how hard I was on them, you know. I, I like I said, I was, I meant well, <laughs> you know. But they're not saying in the sense of all oh, that was wrong. I was cruel, and, you know. They're pretty much making it's it's. They look back at it and they, it's something they laugh at, you know. what I mean, <laughs> but it's beautiful. So anyway, I hope you were edified, you know. Until next time, Lord willing, shalom, Barkin.